Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thanks for the kind words, and uh, thank you for holding uh, this hearing. We, we ignore um, the changes that are rapidly coming uh, to the Arctic North uh, at our own peril. And um, I'm pleased to see that we have a number of proactive uh, plans uh, in place, but you know, more is certainly going to need to be done. Um, although some deny uh, that climate change exists, uh, we are seeing uh, extraordinary extended periods of ice retreat, navigable waters uh, uh, throughout um, the Arctic region. And, uh, you know, we're now going to see, obviously, uh, transit, more transit of, uh, of, of freighters, uh, even um, even tour ships uh, in that area, which is obviously going to put uh, burdens on the United States Coast Guard uh, for their duties for both for security and uh, for protection of life and, and property. Um, I'm pleased after many years of struggle uh, that we have uh, two polar security cutters fully funded and we, uh, <clears throat> we are going to authorize another one in the Don Young Coast Guard Authorization Act. We're also going to authorize uh, the temporary utilization of an existing uh, commercial icebreaker under lease uh, so that we can enhance our capabilities. I mean, we've got uh, the Healy, uh, and then we have the one remaining, uh, and I know he's going to mix up Star and C, but... Um, whichever one we have. Which is it, Admiral? Star, good, okay. <laughs> that, that was the one I was on. It's just too close together. I can never remember. Um, you know, which is patched together every year uh, after it does its major duty and run to uh, McMurdo Sound. Um, you know, I, it's interesting that, I mean, I, I guess they're still harvesting uh, circuit boards and things that we don't make any more with transistors off of the old polar sea or they've been stockpiled somewhere. But it's pretty pathetic. I mean, Russia has 40. China, not even one of an Arctic nation, has two and they're building more. Uh, this is going to be an era in an area of international uh, competition um, and potential issues uh, will arise. I mean, there are um, resources and claims being extended. Uh, the idiots in the Senate have been unable to approve the Law of the Seas Treaty, so we don't have a, a full standing to object to a Russia continually extending claims further and further uh, into the Arctic region. Uh, but, you know, nothing can be done about the idiots in the Senate. Um, so with the, with the Don Young bill, which will be hopefully tonight uh, or this afternoon as part of the um, Water Resources Development Act, which is now the Water Resources Development Act, National Defense Authorization, Coast Guard Authorization, and God only knows what else uh, is in that piece of legislation. Um, and then, uh, you know, there are other issues, um, bases, um, you know, you're pretty distant uh, from the more northern, you know, because we only went there on a seasonal basis. And, um, you know, I understand that we're looking at um, an enhanced deep draft harbor. Um, you know, our naval, our, our Coast Guard air station is, again, pretty far away. So we're going to have to be looking at shoreside um, and seaside uh, facilities uh, to give us more proximity. Uh, and less uh, less travel time uh, to uh, to uh, get into that area. As the uh, chairman noted, um, this is my last hearing. After 36 years, I started down there, uh, somewhere, right about there, I think, uh, many years ago. Um, you know, this has been the, the honor of my life uh, to serve on this committee. Um, you know, had uh, great mentors, particularly Jim Overstar, uh, was an extraordinary mentor to me, and I hope I have mentored uh, some of the uh, the next generation. And I wish uh, Sam Graves, uh, who I fully expect to be the next chairman, uh, to uh, 
well on this committee. Um, and, you know, Sam is uh, balanced and wants to get things done. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see that this committee will still be productive. And to Bob, congratulations. I'm calling this the year of the great retirement. <laughs> A lot of people are retiring. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're joining that crowd, although I'm not going away. So I'm, I, I am going to be officially retired from Congress. And I want to thank my absolutely uh, incredible staff. Uh, can't name them all, uh, but they have done so much great work over the years. Uh, a member of Congress and this committee are, are only as good as the fabulous staff we have, uh, whether it's legislative, in investigative, or just organizational. Uh, this is the biggest committee in Congress. It's a little bit unwieldy, uh, but I think we do pretty damn well. Uh, so with that, I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now I would like